Hi, Ryan here again, and in this walkthrough, I'm going to show you how to use the Blackboard Record from Webcam tool. So, if you look at your screen, you'll see here that we are in a hypothetical Blackboard shell under construction, and you can see from my flashing GIF and outdated links that uh, it needs a lot of work. Uh, but let's never mind that for right now. Let's go ahead and look over to the side where you see I've created some tool links. Uh, to different areas of the site that could house different types of assignments that we might use for this. Uh, if you need help creating a tool link, you can just do them from right here. Um, but that is another tutorial to altogether. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and create a class evaluation discussion board. The idea behind this assignment is that you create uh, recorded a video of students giving a presentation in class and now you're going to have classmates go back rewatch that video and create a discussion post that gives some helpful um, positive advice on how they might do better in the future. So when you're accessing this discussion board page as an instructor it should look something like this and you want to go ahead and create the form and give your students some advice in relation to what you want them to do. So we'll go ahead and click the create form button from here. So we're gonna go ahead and call this the feed back forum. Once again, misspelling things. All right, we got that right. Um, at this point, we're going to go ahead and do a little description. Say, so watch the following video and leave some feedback for one of your peers. So what we want to do now at this point is access our YouTube channel. If you look at your WYSIWYG editor, hopefully it looks something like mine. But if it looks like this, you just need to go ahead and click these two little down arrows that also look like the Chevron logo, and that will give you the full kitchen sink, as we call it. Fun fact, WYSIWYG editor, what you see is what you get. So go ahead and click on the little ominous webcam tool, or at least what the webcams looked like in the 1990s, and that will bring up the window that looks like this one. Now, if you've never used this before, it's going to look like this and it's going to ask you to sign into YouTube. So go ahead and click on this button. If uh, you're logged in, it might ask you just to authenticate. Otherwise, enter your information and go ahead and click sign in. Then when this screen pops up and an honest application is requesting access to your Google account, it's okay, it's just Blackboard. Go ahead and grant access. Now, your Blackboard page will be linked to your Google page, and you can go ahead and browse. Now, we don't want to record directly from here, though, just like in the previous tutorial that I released, you could. Instead, we want to browse what we've already uploaded. And you can see here that it's going to go ahead and give you a list of all your recently uploaded videos. For the sake of example, we'll go ahead and choose the fancy, goofy one that we created, but obviously, in the course of an assignment, you would want to choose a student presentation, and we'll and I go ahead and insert this inside of here. Now, there's a couple options. You can choose the thumbnail option if you want it to open in a separate video, but I prefer to have my videos go ahead and play directly in place. So I'm going to say play in place, and I'm going to leave the, uh, the proportions at 480 by 360 and go ahead and insert that in. At this point, it should give you something that looks like this, big yellow window. Don't worry about that it should be good. Um, the rest of the settings are just your typical Blackboard settings. Um, if you want to have this be a graded activity where each students get a point for go ahead and posting a thread, then you can go ahead and do that. Um, again, if you want more information about this, I suggest that you check out the, uh, the handy TMI Blackboard training sessions. But we'll just say, for example, that this is worth one point, shows grading after one post, and we will go ahead and leave everything else here as default. We'll go ahead and cr uh, click Submit, and bada bing, bada bang, we now have our, uh, our form. So if we were to switch into student mode now, and we go over to our discussion board, We'll now see that, boom, here's our feedback forum and the video. Students could go in there after watching the video, create threads, and go ahead and give some feedback on how the speaker did inside of that. Lots of feedback. And they could then write some things. 
down here. Highly suggest that you specify word count, sentence count, and so forth. Otherwise, you'll get lots of posts that say like things like this. Nice job and not really helpful. So give some uh, good uh, qualitative advice to your students at specifically what you're looking for. Typically, in assignments like this, I ask them to give um, a feedback sandwich where that has full uh, three full sentences, one positive thing, one thing that they could do better, and a second positive thing inside there. That way the students are knowing what they did well, but also getting some good constructive advice on what they can do better in the future. And then if your hypothetical student finished it, then they can go ahead and submit, and you can grade that later. All right, that goes. We'll go ahead and conclude the simple walkthrough on how to use the record from webcam tool here on Blackboard. Thanks.